Alright, what's up internet? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys my dual mundane Haviland build. This build, or versions of it, is gener generally considered to be the cheapest build in this game. There are ways to beat it, of course, in PvP, uh, but the build itself is designed for PvP. Uh, it's not that effective for the rest of the game in PvE, uh, but the way this build is designed is just extremely difficult for people to beat with almost every other kind of build. You have to really be prepared and understand what this strategy is and build a character to beat it. So uh, I'll show you all my stats and everything that I have equipped, but uh, I have to say that after playing with all the other characters that I've created and then playing with this character in PvP, it's just night and day. This is by far the cheapest uh, way to win in PvP. Uh, there isn't much the average player can do to stop this strategy. So let's get into the details. Um, I'm at level 150 just like all my other characters and uh, for Vigor I have 24. Um, now basically in, in case you don't know, uh, Mundane is a, f a fusion type that you can have on your weapons and shields and what it does is it scales to your lowest stat. So if you, as you can see my lowest stat across the board is 20. Uh, this allows you to do quite a bit of bonus damage with your Avalons. Uh, so everything is going to be minimum of 20. Uh, for Vigor, I have 24 and that is just so that I can have the extra life that is needed to execute the strategy that I usually have with this character and I'll get into the details on the strategy later. But uh, 24 on Vigor, 20 on Endurance, that's just because it needs to be minimum 20. Uh, Vitality, again 20. Attunement uh, is going to be 20, just like everything else. Now, strength and dex are uh, strength is 37 and dex is 22, and that's the minimum requirement to power stance dual wield uh, Avalons in this game. So that's why that's set to that. Um, dexterity, uh, I'm sorry, adaptability, intelligence, and faith all are uh, 20 as well to make the mundane fusion work. Uh, you know. With, with the Avalons. So um, basically what you're going to see here in my uh, character's details and the stats are that uh, because I'm wearing Havel's armor along with the rings I'm carrying, you'll notice that my defense on the bottom right side of the screen is extremely high. Uh, many other average character defenses are between like 600 or even 800, but this is very, very high. And that's because of the armor that I'm wielding. And again, I'll get into the strategy involved in a bit. Um, but also, notice my poise. My poise is quite high, uh, and that is also a key factor to this build. So uh, th these are the stats that you're going to want if you want to use this build. Now moving on to what I have for equipment. I have equipped, I'll start with rings. Um, so for rings, I have the Ring of Blades plus two. Now the reason I have the Ring of Blades plus two equipped here is because what this ring does is it it gives you a 50 point bonus to your attacks. Now because the Avalons shoot three arrows at a time, three bolts, you're getting plus 50 to each bolt. So that is actually quite a bit. Now since I'm power stance dual wielding these Avalons, I'm going to get plus 50 to six bolts. So that's a shitload of bonus damage on top of the 305 damage each bolt already does. So that's quite a bit. Now, uh, for the second ring I'm using, I'm using the Ring of Giants plus two. This is going to give you plus 30 to your poise. So I'll explain the strategy later, but poise is quite important for this strategy as well. Uh, the Life Ring gives you plus, Life Ring plus two gives you an additional 12.5% to your current HP. So that adds up to quite a bit. And that high HP for this character is very important because you're going to want to trade hits with the Avalons and you need to survive. So high HP is very, very important. And I also have the third dragon ring. Uh, third dragon ring is obtained at the end of the game. Uh, oh, I should uh, explain where these are uh, obtained. I think the ring of giants is obtained from the last giant in New Game Plus. Uh, Ring of Blades plus two is obtained from uh, the, the the fight in the Dranglaic Castle with two pursuers inside the throne room. Uh, so after you beat both pursuers at the same time, you get this ring. Uh, the Life Ring plus two, I don't recall where you get it, but you can look it up. And Third Dragon Ring, of course, is the one that adds uh, stamina, health, 
and equip burden. So this is just a beneficial ring overall. For armor, I have Havel's uh, armor, the full set. Uh, the reason I'm using Havel's armor is because it has the highest, by far, defense in the game. Uh, it's also the heaviest armor in the game, and as you'll notice on the bottom right, my equip burden is way over 70. That's because the strategy that I employ in PvP with this character does not require you to roll. Uh, also, stamina recovery is not really essential either, because you're basically going to trade hits and kill them before you even need to recover strategy. I mean, uh, stamina. So for weapons, I, as I mentioned, am dual wielding Avalons and they are uh, mundane, um, infused or whatever. And like I said, that scales to your lowest stat, which is why all of the stats are minimum 20 here. Now as a side weapon, I use the Channeler's Trident. Now the Channeler's Trident is for two purpose, purposes. One of which is, sometimes you need to switch out of your Avalons to a melee weapon to kind of mix things up and finish off the opponent. Um, the second reason to use this Channeler's Trident with this build is, I'll show you right now, when you two-hand the Channeler's Trident and hit R2, you do this dance. Now what this dance does is it gives you an attack bonus of 20 points for 20 seconds. I think that's what, the, what it is. You get an additional attack bonus for 20 seconds. But that attack bonus applies to each arrow. So similarly to the Ring of Blades, you are doing additional bonus to each bolt you shoot, and you're shooting six at a time. So you're going to notice at this point, the strategy is one hit kill. I mean, the point of this build is to kill the opponent just with one shot, or possibly two. So basically, those are the... Um, that's the equipment I have set up for this build. Now, when you do this uh, this dance, this taunt, or whatever, what you can do is basically after it's done buffing you, it takes a bit, and you can't cancel it, which is why this is so good for PvP, uh, especially in the arenas. But once you switch, you're still maintaining the buff from the Channeler's Trident for your dual stance, uh, power stance, Avalons. So this is basically the strat. Now, what you do, generally just to win in the cheapest way possible is you never roll and you just walk right up to the opponent and you have them locked on and the moment they attempt to do anything which would prevent them from rolling or attacking you shoot them now they are going to hit you most of the time but because your life and defense and poise is so high you're basically going to trade hits with your six bolts now these six bolts do so much damage that almost every character build that they could have will die if you hit them with all six arrows now this is where the cheapness comes in your poise defense and hp is so high you don't need to roll so having a slow fat roll doesn't really matter at all basically you're just tanking in you're walking into the fight allowing them to hit you knowing that you're going to kill them if you have it set up properly um this is basically the easiest cheapest way to win in pvp it's very very hard as i mentioned to beat this without actually experiencing it and strategizing against it specifically um i i i'm pretty sure if they patch this game more in the future they likely will tone this down because uh they, i'm sure there are other ways to buff the bolts even higher this is just basically what i've found to be like you know really effective uh the channeler's trident as your side weapon not concerning yourself with um equip burden because you don't really care about stamina recovery or because uh or for uh roll speed so basically you're just walking into the fight and trading hits knowing that you're gonna kill every time it's actually quite cheap uh the other day i was playing with a couple friends we were all taking turns in pvp and they basically had very little experience with the game and they were kicking the shit out of everyone they were playing too so it's very very easy minimal skill required and you're gonna troll the shit out of them on top of that you're trolling the shit out of your opponent and thankfully with this build you have your channeler's trident equipped so once you kill them with this cheap shit, you can dance on their ass and they're going to become infuriated and send you all kinds of dope messages about how you're cheap. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about how you can build a dual mundane Havilland build. Um, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.